Hello everyone, it's Mr. Spinelli. Today I'm going to talk about how to find the area of a rectangle, parallelogram, and triangle. So first up is just probably a review. Area of a rectangle, that is simply equal to the height times the length. Okay, so the height, length, you may hear base times height, length times width. These words are kind of all interchangeable because what someone calls the length, someone else calls a width. So I'm going to use H and L. So the height is one side length, which is the same as its opposite side in a rectangle. And then the length is the same as the opposite side of it. So area is just as simple as multiplication. And you may have learned how to multiply numbers together by using what's called the area method. Now, if I want to compute the area of a parallelogram, it's actually the same exact formula. And let's see why. So it's going to be the height, which has to be some distance perpendicular between my two parallel sides. Remember that a parallelogram, opposite sides are congruent, and opposite sides are parallel. So I need the perpendicular distance between two of those parallel sides, which is called my h, my height, and I multiply that by the length to which it's perpendicular. So notice that this height is also perpendicular up here. So that is key in determining the area. Now why does this work? Well, if I take this little triangle here, and I drag it over here, pretend that I cut it out, now you can see that I've got a rectangle. And since we all know the area of a rectangle is simply its height times its length, you can see why the parallelogram has the same formula. So let's take a look at a few examples. Well, first, area of a triangle. Now, area of a triangle, one thing you might notice is that if you piece the triangle together to itself, you end up with a parallelogram. Well, what's the area of a parallelogram? It's simply the base times the height. Well, we only have half of that picture, which is why the area of a triangle is the base times the height divided by 2. You may also see this written as 1 half base times height. The key thing is that the base must be perpendicular to the height, so you need to see that right angle mark in the picture to determine what h is. So now let's take a look at some examples. So here's just a bunch of parallelograms and triangles. So the key thing I want to do is identify my height which is perpendicular to my base, and that applies to all of these problems. So I'm going to go through and just highlight what my height is. So the first thing I notice is I've got this right angle mark, so this must be my height, and it's perpendicular to this side, so that's my length. Same thing with the next problem below it. Notice my perpendicular mark, so this is my height, 5 centimeters, and this is my length, 15 centimeters, because those two sides are perpendicular to each other. So let's just go ahead and crunch some numbers real quick on those two. So the first one I'm going to do, area is the height times the length. The height is 1.8 meters, and the length is 2.5 meters. So if I multiply those two numbers together, I get 4.5. When I multiply the units together, my units become squared. Meters times meters are square meters, or meters squared. Now the one below it, I use the same formula, so I'm going to do 5 centimeters times 15 centimeters. Multiply those numbers together, I get 75, and my units are squared. So now let's go back to our highlighting. Let's do some of the triangle problems. So the key thing I need to notice is where my right angle is. That right angle is the 8 centimeters and then this 12 centimeters the side gets extended here so 8 and 12 are my height and base respectively so let's switch back to my pen so the area is going to be 12 centimeters times 8 centimeters divided by 2 
So I'll multiply the 12 and the 8, and then divide the result by 2. I get 48, and my units are squared. Area is always squared units. Now the one below this is quite simple because I notice I've got a right angle, and this is a special Pythagorean triple, 5, 12, 13. So 13 is my hypotenuse. The hypotenuse will never be used in my area equation unless you study some more um, ways to calculate it, which you could use it. I won't go into that. So I'm going to do 5 feet times 12 feet, which is 60, divided by 2, and I get 30, and my units are feet squared. All right, so then on this last parallelogram problem, I need to notice that I have to count the sides. So if I count from here to here to here to here, I count four units. And then if I count perpendicular, so this height, I get a height of three. Notice these sides are perpendicular to each other. So then my area is simply four times three. which is 12, and I would have some units squared. All right, so in my last triangle problem, I just got to figure out which two things are perpendicular to each other. Well, this side here and this side here are perpendicular, so 4 and 11 will be the numbers I'll multiply together. So the area equals 4 inches times 11 inches. Divide that result by 2, and I get 22 square inches. All right, so this is finding the area. I just have to find the two dimensions that are perpendicular to each other and apply my respective formula. So now there's other questions where you're going to have to find a missing piece. So in this one, it tells me the area is 40 square inches. Okay, and I've got one of the pieces is 8. Okay, so I know that area would be equal to uh, base times height or length times height. I know the area. It's 40 square inches. You might also see it written like this. I'm actually going to write it as inches squared. I don't know what B is, but I know that 8, the H is 8 inches. So then this just becomes a division problem. I divide both sides by 8 inches. So in this side, 8 divided by 8 reduces to 1. So then I get B equals 40 inches squared, which is really inches times inches, over 80 inches. So let's figure out what happens with this. Well, the inches simplify to 1, so I'm, my answer should be in inches. So 40 divided by 8 is 5 inches, and that is my final answer. Okay, so I had to know that my units should be the same as the units for my height. My base and my height should have the same units. Now on this last one, I've got a triangle, so I have to write down the formula for a triangle. Area is base times height divided by 2. I know my base is 6. I know my area is 18 square centimeters, so I plug in what I know. I know area is 18. I know my base is 6. I don't know my height, but I have to divide that result by 2. So I can multiply both sides by 2. So multiply this side by 2, multiply this side by 2, and I get 36 equals 6h because these two simplify to 1. Divide both sides by 6, and I get h equals 6 centimeters. So those are just a few examples of problems you might see involving triangles and parallelograms and you might see some that just have words. So now this one says the f base is 12 feet long and the area is 36. So then I know that area equals base times my height. So I'm trying to find the height or altitude is another word. I know the area is 36. I know the base is 12. I don't know the height. This is a division problem. Divide both sides by 12, and I get h equals 3 feet. Notice my units are the same as the units in the problem. Now the next one says that a triangle has an altitude, that's another word for height, of 5, 
and an area of 12.5. So I write my equation for area of a triangle, base times height divided by 2, plug in what I know, area is 12.5, base is what I'm looking for so I don't know it, my height is 5, that has to be divided by 2, multiply both sides by 2, The twos on this side reduce to one. Two times 12 and a half gives me 25. B times five is just five B, but I'm gonna end up dividing by five. So I end up with B equals five meters. So I hope you enjoyed and good luck in your studies.